Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for contracting, on-site training, and code reviews. Now, a few weeks ago, or maybe even a couple of months ago at this point, I sent out a tweet asking what is the summation of these values, 1.1, 2.2, 3.3, 4.4, 5.5, or something like this, using standard accumulate. And the logical answer that you would have come to is 1.1 plus 2.2 is 3.3, plus 3.3 is 6.6, plus 4.4 is 11, plus 5.5 is 16.5. So you would expect that 16 point something, 16, is returned from main, because main returns an integer. But what it actually turned out is that in this particular example, 15 is returned. And the reason why 15 is returned is because we have called standard accumulate with an integer. And so standard accumulate takes this integer value and it uses that as the value that's going to be returned, uh, the type that's going to be returned. So it actually does integer math on all of this and ends up with 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. And then we get 15 returned from main. Now, this is quite the gotcha to people who weren't expecting to see this. And we have gone and turned up all of the warnings that we possibly can with Clang. And we're using Clang 5.0 here. And we have removed a few of the warnings that aren't terribly helpful, but we've got dash w everything turned on with Clang 5.0, and we can see that we're not actually getting any kind of warning about the summation. We're not getting a warning that we are using an integer to sum up a bunch of doubles. So let's uh, take one quick extra look here and see what happens if we say that we want to use libc++. And we get some different errors because of the version of Clang that we have. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this to Clang trunk. Let's go ahead and specify the type of our array. So we're no longer using C17's template deduction. And we see that we are still getting the same results here with Clang. We are just a warning about no new line at the end of file, but we don't have any warning at all about the fact that we are doing a summation of floats or doubles, that is, over an integer. So we're going to try GCC now and see what we get. And we're going to have to change our compilation flags because GCC doesn't know this dash w everything. And it also doesn't know how to use a different standard library implementation. But we do this and we're not going to get any other kind of warning from GCC. And, and worse yet, we're not even getting a folding of these simple five values at compile time. So let's try one more compiler. And we're going to try Visual Studio for this particular one. And fortunately, we have access to many compilers with our Compiler Explorer here. Now, with our Compiler Explorer, we have set it to Visual Studio, and we have not set any options at all. We're using the default optimization and the default warning level, and we can see that we are getting this warning, a conversion from double to int, possible loss of data. Who would have thought? So Visual Studio gives us this warning without us even having to try. Let's see if we can come to the root of what is going on. And to do that, we're going to go back to Clang. And I'm just going to go w everything 03. And we get this generalized initializer list not compatible with C++98. We don't really care about that. But we're going to try to implement our own standard accumulate right here. Now, this is about as straightforward as we could have possibly made it. We take our begin and end iterators, and we simply compare begin not equal to end 
increment begin each time and dereference the begin iterator and sum that with our initial value and return our initial value. So let's switch from using standard accumulate to using our accumulate and see what happens. And we are still not getting any kind of warning from Kling here. Why isn't it warning for us? It's, I think, a very good question. If we were to do this, now the compiler gives us an implicit conversion turns floating point number into integer. But we do not get this warning on line 20. So that's basically the gist of it here is pretty much only Visual C++ has the tools necessary to be able to provide you a warning for when you're doing this kind of implicit conversion from double to integer in a summation or standard algorithm kind of sense. And I think it's a bit of a shame that we don't get similar warnings from other compilers. So uh, there you have it. This is definitely one of those cases where Visual C++'s compiler really shines compared to the other options and giving us meaningful, useful warnings. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.